Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 18th of January. Nice to see the sun back today and nice to see a little warmer temperatures this afternoon. Let's go in there and check some of the sky cam shots early this morning. Uh, We are generally below freezing from Birmingham north and east, and we've still got some uh, icing issues with the leftover moisture. That's the uh, Coleman sky cam. Uh, Down below that U.S. 278, you can see a lot of snow still in the grassy areas there. Most of Coleman County had about three inches yesterday. I-65 north of Coleman was a big mess uh, for most of the day with an 18-wheeler accident and stranded motorists. In fact, they had to open the Coleman Civic Center as a shelter for stranded motorists there last night. This is uh, one of our sky cams in Walker County. This is from Parrish, and again, you can see a bit of snow left over there. And again, parts of Walker County had three inches. The the heaviest snow of this thing wound up being over parts of Cullman and uh, Walker and Blunt counties, a little farther west than we had thought, uh, and the models had indicated. And up at Cheehaw, they've still got snow, of course. Uh, That's Alabama's highest mountain south of Anniston. But they did not get as much as we figured. Tammy Power, the lodge manager, said they had three inches up there. I thought they'd have five or more. But again, that's the way it works with these uh, cold core upper lows. They are a weatherman's woe. But it's gone. In the wake of that, we got a dry air mass. And there's a look at the numbers this morning. Early, these were at 5 o'clock. And again, you can see from Birmingham east and north, for the most part, below freezing with uh, problems with uh, the, the patchy ice from refreezing. But that will melt very quickly as we warm up. Now, to the north, very cold over Canada, the eastern half of Canada. And some of that will try and escape down in here uh, early next week. It's going to be pretty cold. But look at that. When was the last time we had a map like that? Rain for the next five days, nothing. I mean, not a drop, a flake. In fact, much of the nation is quiet. And accordingly, the watch warning map, also very quiet. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. The flow is zonal. The air is dry. The sky will be sunny. We'll expect low 50s today. Tomorrow, we'll start the day around freezing. We warm up into the upper 50s. Doesn't that sound good? The sky will be sunny. And Sunday, uh, we start to see the uh, colder air dropping in from the north. Still, I think we'll do mid, mid 50s. It'll be a nice day. We note that 1,049 millibar high north of Montana. Monday, a trough begins to carve out. Thankfully, the amplitude is not tremendous. And down below that, it starts to turn sharply colder. Uh, The high Monday will probably drop into the 40s. And Tuesday is going to be cold. I mean, uh, even the GFS is catching on to the idea now. And the Moss guidance has got a high of 43 on Tuesday, meaning uh, most folks probably won't get out of the 30s around here. You know, at one point, the Moss had like 50 or something. But uh, uh, when the Moss says 43, you probably need to drop that a few degrees, considering how cold it is up there. So highs probably 38 to 42. And Tuesday morning is going to be cold. The GFS is showing 21. Uh, I think a lot of folks will be in the teens. Uh, Wednesday morning, very cold again. We'll probably see low 20s and upper teens, but we start to warm up a bit during the day with highs in the uh, 40s. And Thursday, we warm up into the 50s. And a week from today, troughing to the north, moisture starts to come back, and that would be your next chance of showers with a cold front. Doesn't look like an, an especially heavy rain event, but... Uh, about a week away, that's the next chance of rain. Quick peek into voodoo country. This is the 29th. Uh, we've seen a lot of different looks out here. Instead of a Gulf Coast runner, we've got a low now around uh, uh, Tyler, Texas, with a warm front producing heavy rain here. And on the 30th, as that thing lifts out, it turns really cold and a chance of snow or snow flurries on the backside of that departing system. And on the 31st, it's just cold at the end of the month. But again, The end of the month looks cold and unsettled, and obviously here on the 18th, we can't resolve details, just something to watch in coming days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side tonight. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related 
to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. 